Hey guys, in this video, I'll walk you through how to add a free SSL certificate to your website in a few easy steps. And if you stick around to the end, I will show you a quick hack to extending its validity to 15 years. In quick summary, what an SSL certificate does is to assure visitors access to your website securely without risking their data being compromised. Now with that said, if you happen to see your website displaying the not secure notification close to your domain name, it just means your SSL certificate is either expired or you don't have one currently installed on your domain. So starting out, the first step we want to take will be signing up with a web security company called Cloudflare. So I can just enter in the URL cloudflare.com. Now from here, you want to click on sign up, which will automatically start loading up the sign up page. Once this loads up, you want to enter in a valid email address and a password because we'll be needing that to verify the account. Once everything here checks out, just select the create account button and that should redirect us to the account's dashboard. Now we could get on with the process, but it's just ideal to verify the account before starting out with anything. So I'll just open up the Gmail account I used in signing up. Open up the email from Cloudflare and just select this link to complete the sign up process. Now with that, we should have successfully verified the email address. And from here, we just need to continue to dashboard. One thing I should note here is that the interface changes from time to time. So if you're probably watching this video in a couple of months from now, a thing or two might have changed here, but then the links and functionality almost never do. Now from here, all you need to do is add your website to Cloudflare by clicking on the add site button. And when inputting your domain name into this field, you want to insert it in this format without any prefix or suffix. And once that is entered, click on add site. On this page, you'll be required to select a plan to move forward. So we'll be going with the free plan and then continue. Moving on to the next step, we'll be required to review the DNS record of the domain we intend installing the certificate on. If you don't know what this means, well, I don't either. So let's move on to select continue. But I wouldn't worry much about this because the system is quite precise with the information it fetches. The last step here will be pointing the name server from what it is currently to that of Cloudflare. Automatically, Cloudflare tells you exactly who your current domain registrar is. And since I've got my domain registered on Namecheap, I'll just open up a new tab and enter in Namecheap.com. So if you've got yours registered on GoDaddy or other domain registrar, you just need to head on there and change the name server to complete the SSL certificate installation. So I'll just quickly log into my Namecheap account. And from here, things might actually look different from your end compared to mine. So if you don't know where your domain name servers are, you can just contact support for directions. If you've got Namecheap as your domain registrar, just select the manage button to the domain name you intend installing the SSL certificate on. And right here, you want to change this from whatever it is currently to a custom DNS. Now let's head back to Cloudflare and copy the first name server. Head back and paste that into the first field. Copy the second and paste that into the second field. Once you've added them both, just click on the save icon. And we can see right here, the DNS server has been updated. Mind you, for this to take full effect, it could take about 48 hours, but that's sort of relative since in some cases, it could be immediate. Now heading back to Cloudflare, I will just select done, check name servers. We should take us to this page with recommendations. So let's click on configure recommendations. And we should be presented with these two options to minify or reduce the file size of JavaScript, CSS, and HTML code on your site. What this does is to reduce the file size of your source code to facilitate a faster loading experience for your visitors. So I'll just apply this recommendation and certainly want to enable the HTTPS. After which, I can head over to the overview page. And now, if you've checked back on your website and nothing has changed, just click on check name server. And now we should see this congratulation message saying Cloudflare is now protecting your site. Now, after doing that and nothing has changed still, you can just give it a little bit of time. Typically, this takes about 24 to 48 hours to completely propagate. So that's pretty much how to go about installing the free SSL on your website. Now, just before I wrap this up, allow me to show you a quick hack to extending this free SSL certificate from just three months to 15 years. So if I open up the SSL settings on my dashboard and clicked on the Edge Certificates option, 
In here we can see the type of SSL we just installed, which is the universal SSL. And its validity extends to the next one year. And when it expires, you would have to renew it, I believe, $10 a year. To extend the validity of the SSL certificate to 15 years, the only requirement here will be having a hosting account linked to the domain name because we'll be completing the setup process on the hosting account cPanel. Now with that said, I will select the origin server under the SSL slash TLS settings and then click on create certificate. We should open up this page and right here we can see the certificate validity set to 15 years. These other options here we can leave to default while making sure to set the validity period as 15 years. Once all is set and done, just click on create. So these keys are what we'll be needing to complete the activation process. Now let's head to the cPanel of my hosting account linked to my domain name. So I'll just open up this tab and then select hosting list. And once this loads up, I'll just click on go to cPanel. When on the cPanel, search for the security tab. I had to reorder this to the top for easy access other than having to scroll down. But in case you're having troubles finding this option, you can just search for SSL slash TLS in this field and then click on it. Now in here, the layout might actually look different from your end, but then you'd want to select the manage SSL sites. And I can just scroll down to select my domain name, which in this case would be victorchinedo.com and its subdomains. And now I can just head back to Cloudflare and copy the origin certificate. Head back to the cPanel and paste that into the certificate CTR. Head back to Cloudflare and copy the private key and then paste that into the private key section. Now for the certificate authority bundle, we could take another route entirely on the Cloudflare account to generate this. But if we take a look at this, it says in most cases, you don't need to supply the CA bundle because the server will fetch it during installation. Now we could either click on install certificates or I can just scroll up a bit and then select the auto field by certificate. And that should automatically generate the certificate authority bundle. Now all that is left is to select install certificate and once that is successfully installed, it should prompt this pop-up. So click on OK to reload this page. And if we take a look at the certificate expiration date, we can see that will be 15 years from today. Heading back to my Cloudflare account, I will just click on OK. And taking a look at this, we can see the certificate expires on this precise date. So if I head back to my website, I should have the SSL installed for sure. And with that, I shouldn't have to worry about renewing my SSL certificate for the next 15 years. So that's pretty much it. If you got value from this video, which I'm sure you did, please do well to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you like to see more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.